It remains a threat for many people in the metro Atlanta area tonight. Good Sunday evening to you. I'm Deidre Dukes. Thanks for joining us. Cobb County is one of the areas still dealing with ice. In fact, the school system canceled classes tomorrow because of the road conditions. Well, Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell is live in Marietta with more. Marissa, how's it looking out there? Well, Deidre, in some parts it's okay, but others not so much. In fact, it's quite dangerous. We are here on EMC Parkway, where if you take a look beside me, you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about. Part of the roadway there is clear, but others just covered in sheets of ice. If you take a look at this video, you can see more of that outside of McClure Middle School and Bullard elementary school in Kennesaw. There's so much ice there. It's like a skating rink. And of course, that's not good news for drivers or pedestrians. Even the crosswalks are just as bad. Now, for most most of the part, drivers took their time on the icy roads, but we found one man who says he had to help drivers make it up a hill. The fact is this is making it safer for parents and kids not to have to worry about being stuck on a bus or their bus flipping into a, a ditch or something like that. And then even though most of the roads or some of the roads are dry, there's still these occasional back roads that people live on and you can't always get to them so you're not putting any kids in harm way. Now, we found some people caught in a mess today. You can take a look at these pictures of crashed vehicles in Paulding County. And then over in Cherokee County, one car ended up on its side, stuck in a frozen creek. And then there's this chaos on another road where we found multiple drivers skidded off the street, coming to a standstill. So, again, it can be dangerous out there, particularly on bridges and in shady areas. Just another reason why so many officials across the area decided it to close school tomorrow. That's the latest here in Marietta. Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News. Yeah, a real mess out there. Thank you, Marissa. Along with Cobb County Schools, Marietta City, Cherokee County, Holding County, and Bartow County Schools will be closed tomorrow. The full list of school closings and delays is scrolling at the bottom of your screen right now. You can also find them on fox5atlanta.com slash closings. So the big question, how will this weekend's winter storm and frigid temperatures impact the Monday morning commute? Well, Fox 5 Storm Team Meteorologist Jeff Hill has a first look at the forecast. Uh, how about it, Jeff? Well, in the counties that saw the snowfall, definitely going to still have those slick roads tomorrow morning. They're snow covered, they're ice covered, and that's going nowhere. So be very careful tomorrow morning anywhere from Cobb County up to Cherokee County, Forsyth County, and then all points up to the north. South of that, we're fine. Let's take a look at the temperatures outside right now. It is cold. Current temperature right now is 20. Dew points at 11. We have a wind chill factor of 20. Winds coming in out of the north northwest at 8 miles an hour. Those winds will be shifting a little more out of the north tonight and then eventually out of the east for tomorrow. 25 right now up in Camden. It's 19 in Blue Ridge, 21 in Clayton, 27 in Athens. You're a little closer to 30, closer to freezing as you get down toward LaGrange. We've got a little bit of cloud cover slipping in tonight. Real high, thin clouds are not going to do much, but early tomorrow morning may create an interesting sunrise if we still have some of those uh, high clouds moving through. Otherwise, just cold conditions. That'll be the big story as we head through the overnight lows tomorrow morning, dropping once again well down into the 20s. Our highs tomorrow, I think we'll get a little bit warmer than what the computer model has here. I think we'll get at least into the low, maybe even mid 40s in some spots down to the south and southwest of Atlanta. But to the north and east, going to be stuck in the 30s. Those winds coming in out of the east will keep temperatures around 35 or so up around Gainesville. A forecast for the morning look for fair skies, cold temperatures, sunrise at 743. Big warm up on the way, Deidre. It could be near 70 degrees by the end of the week. More on that coming up in a few minutes. That would be great news right about now. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Another news.